Wow, this is so cool. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm wearing a new sweater. <laughs> uh, today I wanted to discuss uh, controlling my Tesla Model 3 with an app on my watch. And um, this is the, um, the Drive Electric app made by Clock products it is um, it's something that I uh, installed on my watch oh I don't know shortly after two three months after I got the car and uh, it has been a godsend so I want to walk you guys through some of the programming features of it and uh, and then I'll explain after I show you the programming features I'll explain what um, uh, what I use it for and uh, how it's useful for me so let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the app I have on my Samsung smartwatch for controlling my Tesla Model 3. So um, this is an app made by Clock Products. And um, what it does is it, uh, it controls most of the functions of a Tesla car, including the Model 3. So you've got a charging tab. You've got a um, sort of status uh, tab that, uh, that shows various things. Uh, uh, you can even see at the top of the screen there, if you look close, 244 volts at 32 amps, 8 kilowatts. Charge is currently at 73%. It is set for 85%, and I've got one, hours, one hour and 45 minutes remaining to charge. Next tab is climate. So if you watch, I can go ahead and turn the climate up and it will it will flash and, and you'll get the spinning circle until the climate turns on there we go climate is on now if we go to the climate tab it shows the fan uh, icon is red so the climate is on and the timer is to set um, uh, to time i believe that's to time the charge i've never used it before temperature inside the car is currently 43 degrees outside is 28 that's fahrenheit so let's go back one tab it says climate is on and i'm at 73 out of 85 percent state of charge and there is 223 miles of range so it also shows uh, wi-fi and charging if i tap that charging uh, that charger uh, the green charger uh, icon there it will turn the charging off um, i've had issues with it not wanting to turn back on though so i don't want to do that so there's the, the lock icon as well. That tells you that the car is locked. So now uh, this is interesting here. I can adjust the charge limit as well. We'll take it down, say, to 83%. It should give me the same thing. It'll flash, spinning wheel, charge limit has been adjusted. We can go back, turn that back up to 85%, and um, it will do the same thing. It will flash, then you get the spinning wheel, charge limit adjusted. And... Um, so uh, you can also, let's see here, three dots there, vehicle information. Now um, we can go here and uh, let's see, um, go to the world and um, latitude, longitude, and app settings. We don't need to make any changes there information. There's vehicle information. Uh, that would be my VIN number and whatnot. So uh, there's one vehicle on the app. My car is Mr. T. So, and then um, there's the software version uh, that I've got, 2020.4.1. So uh, let's see here. On approach, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it's, not, uh, it, it's not summon, but um, it might be the home link. I, I'm not sure. So refresh the vehicle info. I don't want to refresh that. So, um, but you can also toggle through with the uh, with the wheel here. So we'll go back, and um, so we'll go back. And um, what I primarily use this for. Oh, and on some of these here too. Um, so I click the star, and. I, there's the lock unlock, there's the home link tab, and there's uh, Snowflake for defrost. I could pop the frunk or the trunk. I could release the charge cord. 
I could vent the windows, flash the lights, or honk the horn. I'm not going to do any of those. It's uh, early enough in the morning on a Sunday that I don't want to disturb anybody. So there's sentry mode that you can activate, valet mode. Um, you can activate the car for somebody. So speed, let's go to that. I could set a maximum speed limit with a pin, but I don't, uh, not something I want to do. So let's see, we'll go back and um, let's see, next tab here. And uh, if I tap the snowflake, now you can see I can even turn on the seat heat. You can see uh, the front two seats are set uh, to warm up currently. I don't need seat two to be on, so we'll turn that off. We'll let my seat preheat. And then there's the rear seats. So there's the timer. Use at your own risk. Pay attention to the notification given when climate starts. Oh, that would be to set the climate to start at a given time. I don't need that. So you can see that it's uh, it's quite a usable app. In fact, there's certain things on the uh, the watch app that aren't visible through Tesla's own software, which I find kind of kind of unusual. But um, it is um, it's a great thing. What I use it for specifically is um, I uh, I our room our bedroom is upstairs. I leave my phone downstairs and um, I don't want it disturbing me or whatever next to my bed. I want to cycle it off, leave it off downstairs. Uh, but the, um, I want to be able to access the car uh, when I wake up in the morning. So I typically either have my watch, uh, I'm either wearing it while I'm sleeping if I wanted to record my, my sleep patterns or it's laying on my nightstand. And when I get up in the morning, I want to be able to turn the charge on because in the winter time, the battery gets cold when it's sitting and when you activate charge, the heater turns on to warm up the pack so it'll accept a charge. And while it charges, it will warm the pack from the, the charging, uh, just by the nature of, of adding electrons to the battery, it warms it up. So what I'll typically do is set my, uh, my maximum state of charge for 75%, maybe 80%. So when I wake up in the morning, it's at that 75 or 80% charge. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the charge up to 85% or 90% before I leave. Uh, and I can do that from the watch. I can turn on the, the uh, climate control. So I reach over to my nightstand, grab the watch, turn the charge uh, limit up, and turn the climate on <clears throat> while I'm just laying there in bed. It's the greatest thing. Also, it's nice not having to have my phone with me all the time. Uh, now, uh, the watch, for those of you that are going to ask, no, the watch will not become a key fob for the car like the phone. Uh, that would be the greatest thing in the world to be able to leave your phone in the car and have the watch become your proximity key fob like your phone it doesn't work that way however uh, and i at first i thought well it's a nifty gadget to have but whatever am i actually going to use it because i have to have my phone with me all the time anyway well i don't need to have my phone with me all the time uh you have to have it with you if you're approaching or leaving the car but uh at other times i like to know that i can leave my phone you know wherever and I can still check on the status of the car I can check on the state of charge I can turn the climate on or off I can vent the windows I can do any number of things from the watch without having my phone with me so the app was a couple of bucks it was cheap and I'll tell you what it's uh, it's something that I use all the time so I'm really glad that uh, that the uh, app developer made that app uh, it's a wonderful thing it's the only Tesla app that I've tried other than using Tesla's normal software so um, anyway, uh, that's it for me for today. Uh, this, I, this video was, was sparked out of uh, many questions that I get from people about the specifics of living with my car day to day. What do I do? So for instance, the, um, the tablet, my steering wheel, my, my altered screen, uh, the Alcantara on the dashboard here. A lot of people just, they have a lot of questions about my car and uh, so this this video is one of a series of how I live with my car day to day. What do I do with it? Uh, for those of you that are curious, that maybe are new to the channel, this is <clears throat> this is a steering wheel that I made from scratch, and it's a composite G10 uh, steering wheel. I'm still working on it. I need to polish it to a gloss black shine, and I want to put uh, black screws in to replace the silver ones. But that's that. This is a six inch, just a cheap six inch Samsung tablet running the scan my Tesla app so I can um, 
view various uh, uh, various parameters uh, within the car, and um, it's an extremely useful tool. The uh, the mount I just made by hand to mount it to the dash. So uh, I just I I use my car a lot. I've got seventy plus thousand miles on it. I, I drive one hundred and sixty miles a day for my business. So. Um, I just I, I've learned to live with this car day to day, and there's certain conveniences in that 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 I I like uh, that I use in this car, and so I wanted to share those things with you guys. So anyway, I think that's it for me for today. Go ahead and leave your uh, questions or comments in the comments section below, and um, I'm going to be coming out with a video every or nearly every day. I've got a lot of technical stuff to cover on the car coming up here soon. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and as always. Stay charged.